Hello YouTube, this is Henrik. Uh, today I want to show you how to trigger drums in Cubase and we're going to use um, the Easy Drummer 2 to, to get the sounds and I, I'm using this because I know a lot of you guys um, have this, uh, this tool available at your disposal. So, um, well, let's dive into it. So, this is the drum track I, I used previously when we um, face aligned the tracks. I um, cut the, the song into a shorter version, uh, so it's like a minute long or so. Let's listen to the drums. Trigger the kick, the snare top, and the toms as well. Okay, first let's double click this and we get into the sample editor. And here you can see Cubis has already um, found the transients for the kick, and you can adjust the, the threshold here to get as much of the hits that you want, but we will. As you can see, this is bleed from toms and the snare, and we want to avoid them to be triggered. So let's raise the, the threshold and scroll through. Um, I think that looks good. Let's listen here. Well, the drummer—it's like almost like some ghost notes on the on the kick. I don't want them. And here is a double trigger. And just click there and disable hit point. And let's remove those. Maybe we can raise the threshold. Hmm. Strange. Let's remove all those. need them. Anything else looks good. I guess that's too. Yep. Scroll through and listen back. And the last one. So I think we're fine for the kick, and then let's create some MIDI notes, dynamic velocity, and the pitch, I guess it's C1, and we want, to, oh, I forgot to, you need to, in Cubase, you need to press Command A to get all the, the hit points selected, and then create MIDI notes, C1, new MIDI track, okay, and then we have a midi track there, midi kick, uh, let's bring this up here just to get some organization done, okay, and let's double click this, and I'll bring it in for you, and here we have all the hits, and as you can see there the velocity is, is not as high as I want, so I'll bring them in, press command and shift to get this this speaker icon and just drag up now we'll have them pretty much maxed out for the kick there we have it and now let's bring in uh, let's bring in uh, easy drummer 2 go to devices VST instruments and I will open this as a rack instruments to get 
to all the functions. And I already pre-made a, a, a preset here, um, just for for the, the kit pieces we, we will use. So it's a snare, uh, snare drum, and it's a kick drum, and it's two toms. It's the DV Collector's Maple with a plastic beater. And it's the Gretsch USA Custom Chrome of a Brass. And it's the Dampen. And the Toms, I guess, it's the DV Collector's Maple as well. So, and let's get into the mixer here later. I just adjusted the volume levels to be at zero. So, let's listen to... Oh, we need to select the output here to Easy Drummer. Let's solo the kick. And there you have the kick. Let's listen to the overheads. Pretty solid. And this was the original kick. Cool. Let's do the same thing, but this time with the snare. Double click to get into the sample editor and adjust the threshold. We'll have to listen back. I think I actually we raised the threshold a bit. Okay, need to work on this. Let's zoom in. I guess we have one transient. No. Let's take that one. I need to zoom in here to really get when hit is. Yeah, I guess it's somewhere there. That should do it. That's actually a snare hit as well. Flams. Oh, that's some guesswork. I guess here whether you can see the waveform is changing and it gets louder. So let's use that one. And the next one. There. Or. Some more flams. Let's move this up here and check the next one. Where was it? Oops, that's off. Let's zoom in. There, and... Hmm. I guess this snare track was already compressed because I'm used to seeing it a lot easier. Let's pick it from there. And listen back. And one more flam. Mm, you can see it's like there. Okay, same procedure. Command A, create MIDI notes. And this time I think the snare is D1. And there we have our 
snare midi or midi snare to be consistent. Bring it up, and this will also go to the easy drummer. Oh. <laughs> Let's bring these up. Actually, let's let's use the rim shots, and then we adjust the hits that should not be rim shots. Yeah, power. Let's listen to this with the overheads. dynamics in there. <laughs> okay. I recall this one was pretty soft. And then maybe we should move like these down here. Maybe just the last one as a rim shot. And let's create like a crescendo there. Yeah, cool. Let's check out these flaps. These. Cool. Let's listen to the kick, the snare, overheads, and let's bring in the room max as well. Yeah, sounds good. Really cool. Maybe we should do the same with the toms for you to see this one more time. There's not an awful lot of tom hits. So let's go in here and change. I guess it's just the first one that's the actual tom. So let's do it like that. Looks good. Looks good, looks good. Scrolling through that one, I guess it's not the top. Nope. Let's select it and disable. And that one. Let's listen. No. Moving along. Yeah, cool. That's it. Command A. Create MIDI notes. And I. I don't really know which one is the tom we selected, so let's go for A1. And we have MIDI tom 1. Let's bring it up. And let's listen to this one. It's the right tom, but we need some more power to it. And Command Shift. Yeah, that's cool. Let's listen with the overheads and the blue mics. Okay. And let's do this one. Zoom in and change the threshold. Bring it up. And there's the Tom Hits alone. Uh, looking good. Yeah, that's all.
create MIDI notes. I think this one is F1. Here we have it. MIDI Tom 2. Let's double click to get these. Sound a lot fatter. Pretty cool. Now let's uh, get the sounds out out from uh, some more outputs. Let's activate some more. Okay. And we need to see some more tracks here. Uh, these two instruments. There we have them. Uh, let's go in here. And let's actually open this one up. And send the snare to two, toms to three, overheads to four, ambience to five, and we leave the rest out. So now we should have the kick here. Yep, the snare. Here, there's actually some bleed in there from Easy Drama, that's cool. And the toms. Over here. And the Rumex. Let's actually name these kick, snare. Palms, overheads, uh, boom. Put these to the top because I don't need them. So now we can change the individual balance of all of these, all of these tracks here. at all. Let's mute the original kick, snare and toms and see what we've got. Cool. So we went from uh, this Let's listen to the drums. To this. Now we have a lot of flexibility to, to mix the sounds and process these and maybe bring in these just a, a tiny bit to, to blend with the, the trigger, the samples. So, have fun! Until next time, see ya.